There's a lot of good movies being released in theaters, and there are a lot I want to see. And we're going to be talking about movies that are being released at the end of this month and next month. And the movies that are being released in theaters that I want to see are Frozen 2, Ford vs. Ferrari, Midway, Knives Out, Last Christmas, and Star Wars, The Return of Skywalker. So next week, I will be seeing Frozen 2 at the Movie Tavern for $5 Movie Tuesdays. Yes, that's the best thing they ever created. I love the first movie. It was really well done. I rewatched it four times and a week ago on 4K, and I thought the visions, the visuals were stunning, and the animation was good as well. So I'm a little skeptical about the new movie and how the storyline's going to be, and... But I heard the visuals were good from this movie reviewer I watched, Chris Duckerman. But he says it has a lot of Olaf in it. And if you don't like Olaf, this movie's going to be oh my god for you. I think Olaf, excuse my language, is one of the most annoying fucking characters in Frozen that will ever be invented. So that being said, I will tell you how it is after I watch it. The second movie I want to go see is the movie Ford vs. Ferrari. Starring Matt Damon and Christian Bale. Because I love those two actors and I really love true stories. This movie is about American car designer Carol Shelby and driver Ken Miles. Battle corporate interference. The laws of physics and their own personal demons to battle revolutionary race car for Ford and Challenge Ferrari. At the 24 hours of uh, lanes means in 1966. The story sounds interesting and the runtime is 2 hours and 32 minutes. The third movie I really want to go see is the movie Midway because I love to watch a great war movie. I also love U.S. history and learning about the wars in our history. Midway is the battle after Pearl Harbor and it is told by the leaders and the sailors who fought it. I can't wait to see how Nick Jonas says as an actor because I want to see what else he can do besides sing. I listened to the soundtrack by Thomas Wetter and it was really, really good. So I hope the movie is just as good as the instrumental soundtrack was. I'm hoping to see it soon and take my dad to go see it because he really wants to go. The fourth movie I want to see is Knives Out because I love myself a good whodunit movie and mystery as well. It's about a detective investigates the death of a patriarch of an eccentric family. It's got a lot of great actors and actresses in it such as Daniel Craig, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tony Klett, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Christopher Plummer, and Jaden Martell from It. Its runtime is 2 hours and 10 minutes. I feel like this movie is going to be like the book titled The Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, which is basically who done a novel on a train and where they interview everyone on the train until someone admits who killed a person. It's one of my favorite books, so if my gut feeling is right, this is going to be an amazing movie. And I want to see Last Christmas because it's starring Amelia Clark and the guy from Crazy Rich Asians. And, you know, it's probably just a good feel-good movie directed by Emma Thompson. And it looks good for the holiday season. I think that movie came out at the perfect time. And the last movie I want to see is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I love the Star Wars franchise. The movies are great science fiction. I'm going to have to rewatch The Force Awakens. And the Return of the Jedi before the new one comes in. Because there's a lot of information to remember. And I haven't seen them in a while. The review of this movie is going to have to wait a little bit. Because I waited too long to buy my tickets. And now they're all sold out. But the good news is I found two good seats. Um, on Friday when it comes out. And I was really excited that I get to actually see it on the release date now. And I also love Daisy Ridley as Ray. Her acting is so good. I hope her career does good things for her. Now review Star Wars when it comes out.